Good evening, and welcome to another instalment of the Dark Monday at Merlin series. The year 2021 marks the 30th anniversary of NEAT, New English American Theatre, and we are currently in the middle of our eighth year of monthly Dark Monday shows here at Merlin. Since 2013, we've been presenting a new show every four weeks, everything from full-length plays, one-act plays with many German and European premiers among them, live radio plays, variety shows, and improv theater, but also evenings dedicated to poetry and music. Due to the situation at hand, Neat will now be presenting our future Dark Monday shows online until further notice via the Merlin YouTube channel on a regular monthly basis at 20 hundred hours on the accustomed first Monday of the month. These performances are free of charge and supported by the Federal Government Commissioner for Culture and the Media, the DATS, Deutsch Amerikanisches Zentrum, and of course, Merlin Kulturzentrum. If you would like to support the supporters, you may purchase tickets and vouchers for all shows at Merlin on their homepage, merlinstuttgart.reservix.de. Tonight's presentation is a dramatic reading of Louis John Carlino's play Snow Angel, which features Sylvia Owens. Director Charles C. Urban has chosen to focus entirely on the main character, Connie forcing the audience into the perspective of her antagonistic, possibly dangerous adversary, John, the other character in the play, and the voyeuristic vantage point of the camera. The action takes place in a small room in a crumbling hotel on the lower east side of Manhattan. A door leads to the hall. There's a window to the left of it. A red neon sign flashes intermittently from the street below. The shade on the window is dark green. The curtains are tattered gauze, long since turned stiff and gray. There's an iron bed with several empty liquor bottles beneath it and a dressing table next to it, littered with cosmetic bottles, creams, makeup, and an overflowing ashtray is among the debris. There's a small night table near the bed. On it is a cracked plastic radio, a mound of orange peels, and a telephone. Against one wall, there's an old scarred dresser. Trash litters the floor. The walls are a faded green. Clothes hang over the backs of chairs. Several pairs of high heel shoes are scattered about. The room is dark except for the flash of neon. The red eye of a cigarette ash tells us someone is sitting up in bed, smoking. The darkness is heavy, oppressive, quiet. Footsteps approach in the corridor outside. They stop in front of the door, then a knock. The cigarette ash glows brighter for a moment and then fades. A voice from the hall. Connie? Connie? Yeah? Are you awake? No. Uh, Aldo. Well, he said it was okay. Uh, are you awake? Ah, oh, Jesus! Would you shut up out there? What does he think I am? I'm what? I'm... Uh, Connie? Will you shut up out there? I'm sorry. All right, all right. Come on in. Oh, it, it's dark in here. It's nighttime, you know. People usually sleep in nighttime when it's dark. Sure. I'm sorry it's so late. I, I was going to come early. Don't give me your life story. Did you settle how much? Yes. All right. The bed's over here. Come on in. He, he, he no. said I could stay the rest of the night. Is he out of his mind or something? I've been carrying the weight of the world since noon. I want to sleep. What's he think I am? What's he care? Nothing. That's what he cares. You sleep last night? Yes. Well, I didn't. I hadn't even been outside in three days. Like if I was sick or something. In the hospital. 
boy, oh boy, am I sick. Oh. Could I please turn on the light? <laughs> Want to see the bargain you got? <laughs> <laughs> I bought a bottle. Caramba, the customers are getting classy. A bottle, how'd you like that? Okay. Sure, sure. Turn on the light. Turn on the radio. Turn on the gas. Who cares? No, no, no. Don't turn on the radio. Uh, wh where are your glasses? On the dresser. Here. Mm. Thanks. You're welcome. Mm. What time is it? Uh, three. <sighs> well, almost four. Three, four. Open the door, seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. <laughs> hey, you remember that one? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, how much you give him? Thirty. Thirty? That rat wouldn't have two nickels to rub together if it wasn't for me. My day ends at six. But he told me I could stay the night. Oh, what? What are you looking at, huh? Nothing, I just... Ugly, huh? N no. Yeah, sure, ugly. Ugly mug. <laughs> How about this face, huh? I bet you thought it was one Panama Canal. <laughs> look, look at that. Panama Canal's all over the place. <laughs> I don't mean nothing. I'm good, honey, honest. <laughs> I'm one of the last great jelly bellies. You can ask anybody, yeah. These don't mean nothing. What's the matter? You don't believe me? Sure I do. Yeah, okay, okay. Why shouldn't I believe you? Okay, okay. I really do. All right. Boy. Hey, you want to laugh? I mean, a real gut type laugh? Two months ago, I read this ad in a beauty magazine about how to get rid of these things. <laughs> it says, send a dollar for the Venus secret facial formula. <laughs> That's what they called it. So I send him a buck. You know what the Venus Secret Facial Formula is? No. Mashed bananas. That's right. Three times a day you wash your face with mashed bananas. Two weeks I'm up in my armpits and banana pills. <laughs> you should have seen this place. It was getting dangerous. I mean, you can't even walk. <laughs> so, out with the formula. I mean, what the hell, right? How you gonna work with a broken leg? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, hit me again, would you? I ain't past 20 yet. Oh, you don't think that's funny, huh? No, it's just Ah, the... skip it. When I get tired, everything's funny. I get all giggly. <laughs> what you looking at? N nothing, nothing. What's the matter with you, huh? You don't laugh, you don't talk. Yes, no, that's right. Do something, would you? You give me the creeps. Look, am I that lousy? No, no, you're, you're then fine. Then I don't get it, huh? You bring me a bottle, you give me a drink, 30 bucks, and you stand there like a zombie. What is it? Nothing. Well, for crying out sakes, are you... <laughs> is that it? You scared? Nervous? <laughs> oh, my God. Why didn't you say something? Come on and sit next to baby. <laughs> I can't believe it. I mean, this is Riot, the Mock Brothers. He's nervous and I'm breaking my back here. I can't stand it. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey, I'm sorry. I get so giggly. I tell you what, you see these two glasses here? Down we go, okay? Chaga lugga, right in the old boiler. That'll help you, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. One, one, two, two, and come on, say it. Chug a logo. Chug a logo. <clears throat> oh, Jesus, what is this stuff? I don't know. I just asked the guy for a uh, bottle. Oh, you sure you went to the liquor store? I'm uh, sorry. Well, will you quit saying that? You've been saying that since you came in. Okay. Forget it. What's the difference? Now, don't be as scared. Come. Connor's going to take good care of you, okay? I'll take care of everything. You're going to get the best. Did I make you nervous? Oh, I didn't mean it. Cross my heart. <laughs> come on. How are you going to relax with that damn coat on anyways? Now, come on. Let me. 
I'm good, baby. Wait, you'll see. I love you. That's no kidding. Christ, you're good looking. <laughs> A million girls already told you that, I bet. <laughs> Gee, you're sexy too. I never met such a sexy guy. Oh, you do things to me, honey. I'm sincere when I say that. Don't be nervous. I love you. I'm one of the last great jelly bellies. <laughs> no! Well, for crying now, sakes, can we please get it over with? I want to get some sleep. Not like this. Well, then how? A nut. Four o'clock in the morning, he sends me a kind of nut. <laughs> you one of them freaky guys? <sighs> That's okay. You don't have to be bashful about it. I do them freaky things, too. Shut up! Just shut up! Hey, you shut up yourself! Boy, oh boy, how's that for crust? I try to be nice. You shut up! Don't come off with that junk to me. What are you, the FBI or something? Yeah, I got rights, you hear? I don't care about how much you pay. <sniffs> Nuts! Used to be a time when a trick could get, come in with a smile, take his pleasure, and leave with a smile. Now that's what we got. <laughs> Creeps, screwballs, nuts. <laughs> Let me tell you, I got respect coming. You hear? That's right, respect. I'm, I'm sorry. I, it, it's hard to explain. I, I apologize. <sighs> nah, that's okay. I got a big mouth. I get hurt easy. Yeah, that's true. I got a big mouth. No, you were right. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> I'm sorry. Anyways, we friendos? Fr friendos? Hey, I'm dry. Oh, oh, sh sure. Tell me something, would you? What? You do want me sexually, I mean. Yes, but... <sighs> Look, don't get shook up, okay? Now I'm gonna keep my trap shut. I'm just gonna sit here quiet and you sit there quiet. And when you wanna tell me, you will, okay? No pushing, no yelling. After all, it's your time, okay? Oh, okay. I only try to make it quick though, okay? I do wanna get some sleep. I've, I've had plenty of girls like, well, like you. As a matter of fact, no other kind for a lot of years. So? Well, it's, it's never been any good for me. Then why do you go? Well, what else can you do when you lie awake and your body screams at the darkness for the touch of someone, a caress, the sound of someone breathing on the pillow next to you? And you get that here? Sure. On the outside, just part of the service. Be behind it, there's nothing. A vacuum, boredom, exhaustion, like now. It, that's all that's behind the whisper and the touch. I don't know. I, I guess as you grow older, you become more aware of it. You see if there was just some, just some, some kind of, of... What? Affection. Affection? Yes. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm serious. If I could just get that feeling that everything wasn't so strange, so alien, I, I, I think the other part would be all right. And that's what you want from me? Affection? Yes. I, I think I know how it could happen. Oh, yeah? It's how? all here in this notebook. In that little thing? Yes. So you mean to tell me, look, you know what? Forget it. I don't understand you. I mean, I really can't. Well, uh, uh, you, you ever love anybody? Was that supposed to be funny or something? No. Did you? Was there ever anyone in your life who made the world go beautiful? Even the ugly things? Everything was different because this person was in the world and somehow that made it better? Just the thought of them made you go hot? Hot with life? Hot with love? Listen. All right, listen. What are you, a lawyer? I ask you them kind of questions. All right? So do me a favor and don't ask me, okay? Don't butt in. What are you, the district attorney or something? I just wanted to explain. Yeah, well, do it without asking those kinds of things. What are you mad about? I'm not mad. I just don't like strangers butting in. That's just what I mean. We're, we're strangers. This is the first time we met. This is the first time you met me. What else could it be? Boy, oh boy, this one's a beauty, a real beaut. <sighs> Look, what I mean is, I, I guess everybody has had someone like that at once. I did. Uh, there was this girl. She 
changed everything. I, I loved her. I, I really did. Yeah? What happened? I don't know for sure. It's been so long. The end of it isn't clear. It was bad. That much I remember. There was hitting. Demons talking out of our mouths. It was all mixed up with jealousy and needing. All through it, I could see the beautiful part being killed bit by bit. Two kids tearing the petals from a flower. Gee, that's tough. I... I guess I tried to hold on too tight. Beautiful things are always so brief. You just naturally want to hold on tight. Yeah, I know. Like like sand. You hold it loose in your hand, it stays. You tighten your grip, make a fist. It all runs out. There's nothing, nothing left. I've been thinking a lot about the beginning. I was afraid I'd forget that part, so I began putting it down. It's, it's all in here in this notebook. Then the other day I got this idea. What idea? How it could be. I think it'd work if you do it. You see, if you could just act like her before, well, before... What? Oh, it wouldn't be hard. I, I'd help you. It wouldn't be hard at all. I'd, I'd tell you what to do. W- would you? Now, wait a minute. Wait one lousy minute. Let me get this straight. You want the sex, right? Yes. But before, you want me to act like this other girl so you feel like you know me, and that'll make the sex part okay? Yes. Just like that, huh? Just be her. Well, at least try. You know what? Get out of here. Just... Get out. But you don't know what... Uh, boy, oh boy, I thought I heard some weirdos, but listen, you... Would you please... I said listen. I may not be much, but that's okay. At least the men come here and they come for me. You hear me? They come for me. Plain, ugly me. That's a lie and you know it. Every man that climbs on that badge imagines somebody else, something beautiful from their youth. You really think they come for you? They come for dreams, memories, well, caresses no. of the past. Yeah, but they keep their trap shuts about it. They don't ask what you ask. They got respect. Yeah, and what about them with no memories, huh? What did they imagine? There's plenty of them. Mm, There are none. (sighs) Look, you know what? Get out. I don't want to have to talk to you. You know what? Get on out. No, no, I paid. You got to do it. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll see who's got to go and who don't got around here. Yeah, give me Aldo. Boy, when I see some cuckoos, but... Aldo, get this bum out of here. I'm not excited. He tell you what? Now, listen, I don't do that for nobody. No. Well, you're going to get him out of here or not. Don't give me that. I want you to... Well, all right, so she's younger, but she still don't work good as me. Look, look, don't, don't talk crazy. You know I can't go back there. Of course I appreciate. I can't go back. You know that. Look, don't talk like that. Okay, 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 okay. 4.30? I didn't mean it. I won't. I won't call you again. I... Well, what do you want me to do? Well, you got your way. What do you want me to do? Are, are, are your dresses in there? Yeah? Uh, no, these are no good. No, no, no. <sighs> well, gee, I don't think I've got your size. I, I want mean. you to get dressed. Dressed? Boy, that's a switch. <laughs> <laughs> the, these dresses are no good. They're, they're gaudy. They're cheap. <laughs> cheap? Look who's talking. This stuff's killing me. So it's killing you. So what? What's the difference? Who cares? I mean, do you know anybody who cares? Come come on. Put this raincoat on. Oh, yes, sir. Right away, master. Don't beat me, master. (sighs) Would you... Do you want some help? No, no. I can handle it. 
Gee. Part of the service. We're very accommodating. <laughs> See, you have to excuse me. I mean, after all, you gotta admit, this is kind of different. Just put the coat on. <sighs> yeah. Yes, sir. Here's my raincoat, all right? That's funny. It ain't raining in here. Nope, not in here. Maybe it's for when I start crying. That's it. Is that it, honey? The name is John. <laughs> John. Well, Johnny, you can forget about that part, see? I never cry. Not a drop. I mean, not even a sprinkle. It's not for that. Hey, you mind if I have another drink? No. Thank you. Thank you, nice man. Thank you very much, cheapy, creepy, nutty, unrespectful, nice man. Jeez. Oh, God. Am I her now? Oh, stop it. Just, just stop it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? She never laughed. What, is she a grouch, huh? Okay, how about this? No? 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 Oh, was she, was she a high-class dame? How's this for high-class look? Not bad, huh? <laughs> lots of guys told me I should go into show business. I got lots of talents. Lots. Come here. Hey, no rough stuff. Brush your hair. What for? Brush. What are you looking at me like that for? The, the eyes, the, the eyes, the, the, they were longer, and, and, and the shape at the end, the, the shape of the end of the eyes, they, they went up, <sighs> up. Yes, yes, something like that, yes. Dang, so what am I now, Cleopatra? Do you have lipstick? Is, is that the only color lipstick you have? I like this color. What's the matter with it? She used something lighter. Well, I'm sorry. If you would have told me you was coming, I'd had a better selection. Now I got a couple of cold creams if you want to mm, use those. Just but put it on. Put it on. Oh, yeah. Put it on. Right. Put it on. Blot it. <laughs> Blot it, he says. Blot it. Okay, all right. More, more. More. All right, all right. How about my gums? Ugh. Are they all right? The, the, there's still something not... Yes, she had a spot. A little brown spot on her chin. Uh, okay. There. Yes. Now, yeah? now I, I want to do where we first met. Stand there. We're, we're outside the Metropolitan Museum. It's winter, February. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, I want a drink, okay? After all, it is winter, right? Uh, go, 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 go I ahead. mean, it's cold outside, go, right? Go ahead, go ahead. Well, thank you. Okay. <sighs> mm. Mm. It's not, but this stuff is not bad at all, huh? Could we please continue? <sighs> Excuse me. All right, all right, we're outside the museum. <sighs> it's about 11 <sighs> in the morning. It snowed the night before, and the park is white, all, all white, and it has a strange sheen because the sun is so bright. Everything is crisp and clear and cold. The branches of the trees are sparkling where the sun catches in the drops of melting snow. Gee, Sounds very beautiful. I mean, the way you said it was very artistic. Uh, you're standing there. Oh, I love the snow. Not here in the city, though. It gets all slushy so soon. I mean, the country kind of snow. Sure, sure, sure. You know, I'm from the country. 
Bet you couldn't tell that. No. Could we please hey, continue? You know what? What I used to do when I was a kid, every time it snowed. I don't care. Well, I tell you, <laughs> there would be snow, like now, with you and this other girl. And I'd look out the window, and as far as you could see, fields of nothing but white, white, with no marks or footprints and nothing in it. So beautiful it would make you cry. <laughs> I'd go out in the middle of one of them fields and I'd lay down very careful and I'd swish my arms up and down like this <laughs> and I'd make a snow angel. Then I'd get up and walk back out on the same footprints and I'd stand and look at that snow angel for hours in all that white, a dark angel. And it was me. But it never lasted. The snow always melted. The angels always went. And I think the snow was sad. You know, it made the same tears with its melting as I did. Are you finished? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Look, I'm not paying to listen to you. Okay, I'm finished. Well, this is extra, okay? You don't get nothing for free. You don't deserve it. Okay, let's go. You're standing there, and just as I pass you, you drop your book. I pick it up for you, and, and you smile. Can you do that? I don't have a book. Well, just make believe. Now, now, now here I come. Oh, you're supposed to smile. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay. Is that all? For this part, yes. That's all you want to remember? Well, it's just a... Part of the beginning. Okay, now, it's about an hour later. You're there, and I'm here. We're on the second floor of the museum in the Chinese room. No one else is here. All around us, magic. Try to imagine. Cases filled with polychrome sung Buddhas, fantastic jade trees and flowers of Qian Lung, vases of carnelian and white agate, rose quartz, amethystine, nephrite. Try to imagine. Okay, but well, I don't know what none of them things are, but I'll try. Uh, behind a figure of Kuan Ying, there's a masterpiece on silk by Xia Kuai from the Sung Dynasty. We're looking at it. We're standing very close. Oh, open your eyes. Something is happening in our nearness. It's as if we are caressing each other with silence. I begin to speak. Notice the evanescence, even in the land form where they blend with the mists and sky. She says, yes, as if they were caught in a dream. Yes, as if they were caught in a dream. Each of them, the scholar and his attendant, savor the moment of mourning with their own rapture. She says, there is a certain albescence, a moon-like unrealness the artist has captured that makes you feel as if you were standing on the threshold of the world's ecstasy. Uh, there's a certain... Albescence. A moonlight... Unrealness. Like you were standing on the world's ecstasy. On the threshold! Oh yeah, the threshold. Can't you even <laughs> repeat a few words? Well, how can I? What I don't even know what the hell she's talking She's about. talking about the quality of the painting. Yeah, well, why don't she just say if she likes it or not? There's obviously a sensitivity here that you don't understand. <laughs> oh, yeah? This. So this guy, Al Bessens, he paints a picture. She either likes it or don't. What's to understand? Al Bessens, Al Bessens, it means white, cloudy. It's not a man's name. The picture was painted by Sia Kuai 800 years ago in China. Oh, you stupid slut. How could you understand the aesthetic that shaped those thoughts? <laughs> All right, so I don't understand. Then what are we here doing this for? Leave me alone. I'm a stupid slut. Remember, I'm not her. So why don't you just leave me alone? No, no, you're going to do it. We're going on. <sighs> we look at the picture a long time. It's as if we are caught frozen within the molecules of jade and crystal surrounding us. 
We are the creatures of the past, fixed in the ice of an age of grace and color and splendor. We have created our own dimension. We are standing timeless within our own cosmos. Excuse me. Our own cosmos, she says. Isn't it wonderful how concept and technique can form a synthesis with the power to involve you totally free from the disintegration of years? Isn't it wonderful how... Technique? Oh, here, read. <sighs> technique can form a... Synthesis with the power to involve you totally free from the dis, dis, disintegration of years. Caramba. Now there's one for you. <laughs> then then I, I turn and sit and you walk over here and sit beside me, okay? No, no, for God's sake, do you have to walk like that? Well, I can't help it. That's the way I walk. It looks horrible. Hold your head up. Pull your shoulders back. She's proud, proud and beautiful, not some tired old whore. Now listen, you. I won't listen. She has grace. Grace, do it again. Pick up your feet. Don't tromp walk. Then how? That's not the way, that's not the way, like this. And her head is always turned slightly as if she's listening to the sound of far off music. Like that, yes, try it, yes, that's better. Turn your head a little more. Yes, better, better over here to me. Then she sits. Oh, you <laughs> see? <laughs> Boy, I don't know what's the matter with my intestines tonight. I said sit, not fall. Do it again. Gently. That's better. I imagine there was a tack on the chair. <laughs> a tack? Oh boy, I busted. <laughs> and she says, there's nothing to equal the light refraction in the amethystines. <laughs> there's nothing like the light fractures in the amethystines. 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 Oh, I can't say it, my tongue goes funny. <laughs> say it, damn you, say it. Amethystine, amethystine. <laughs> I'm a Protestant myself. Ah. Bitch, you stupid, <laughs> ugly bitch, you've ruined it. You've ruined everything, everything, everything! <laughs> I can't do it, okay? I can't help it. I'm not her. I'm me. I'm not her. Please. Please just leave me alone. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to scare you. I just, I just wanted to imagine, just, just, just wanted to feel the affection. Boy, that's how you show affection. No wonder you lost her. You know what? You're rotten, scum. I mean, I get all kinds of freakies in here. Guys that get their kicks smelling my shoes or being tied to the bed want to hit me with a wet towel, but I never get nothing like you. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't care. You want love? You want affection? And what do you give, wise guy? I, I paid. What do you give? Your guts? Or your boy? Okay. So everybody comes in here and imagine I'm somebody else. But they don't ask me what to do, what you want me to do. Not, not you, though. Not you. You're scum. What do you give, huh? But, but the money. Shut up. Huh? Don't talk to me about money. You want? You want. What about me, huh? At least the others leave me alone to think about what I want. You? That's right. Ugly me. Stupid, ugly, slutty me. I remember. I remember all the time. It's right here. You think it never happened to you? But I asked you. I, I didn't know. You didn't want to know. You didn't give one good damn. 
but that's okay. But you got no right to take what I feel away, all right? No right to butt in. I don't need one of them notebooks to remember, neither. And I don't need anybody to be him. He's right here, right in front of me all the time. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry. What's that mean? You're nothing. Boy, oh boy, I remember. It wasn't nothing fancy like those with those museums and high-class talk and chink paintings. It was simple. Simple and easy, huh? What the hell? Forget it. No, no, g g go on. Forget it. <sighs> Connie and Johnny were lovers. Oh, Lordy, how they could love. Swore to be true to each other, to be true. He came to me while I was working in a house in Stockton. His name was Paco. He come up from the mountains in the south of Mexico to dig up potatoes. I turned a couple of tricks with him, but short times. He was always so quiet. I don't know, kind of gentle. Then he came in one day and paid for the price of a day's work. He took me out into the country. <laughs> he sat down on the hillside in the sunshine. He had a bottle of Dago Red. <laughs> And he started to talk to me. He was all fast and crazy at first. Then I understood it was about his house, his home. There were lakes where men fished with nets in the shapes of great, huge butterflies. And there were old temples and big snakes, and everybody played the guitar and sang and had a hell of a good time. And he laughed when he told me. And the sun hit his teeth. He had a smile that'll make you feel like butter. Damn, he had a smile. We drank the wine and we went about the fruits and the colors of things and how great it was to live with animals and about all the beautiful churches with gold and silver crosses and saints that came from Spain in the olden days. And the mountains are so high. The snow never melts. Then he said, Connie, I take you to my home. Caramba, when they see you, they will fall down dead. Beautiful. They have never seen such beautiful. Caramba, mi vida, you will be the sun and the music and the fire of my house. You will be my blanket. And you won't do this work no more. And we will forget. I, caramba, Connie, we would forget. And he laughed. Damn, he had a smile. We lay in the sun all day, and you know what? He kissed me gently. Gently. And he touched my hair. Caramba, Connie, how we would forget. <laughs> he dug his nails into dirt for a whole week to buy that day. I waited, but he never came back. Immigration got him. He snuck in and they sent him back. I didn't even know his last name. I never saw him again. Little Paco. Paco the Max. I never loved anybody again. I got busted after that and went to Frisco, and then after that, that was all. That's what I remember, mister. That's what I imagine. I, 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 I don't.
<laughs> what time is it? A, a little after five. Let's go to bed, baby. I'm tired. Oh, God. I'm so tired. Come on. Come on, baby. Don't waste your hour, okay? And then... And then after... After... We'll go to sleep, okay? You'll see, honey. I'm good. We'll go to sleep. And I'll do you good. Trust me. I'm one of the last old jelly bellies. So good, honey. Yes, sir. The sun on his teeth. And the nets. Like butterflies. Connie. Connie. When, when they see you, they will fall down dead beautiful. They've never seen such beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Connie, how we will forget. Mi vida. That means life. Life. The churches, Connie, with the crosses of gold and silver. Mm. And the music. Yes, yes. The singing and the guitars. It's cold. It's so cold in here. So cold. A dark angel. Connie, you will be the music. You will, you will be my blanket. But the snow, the snow always melts. It always goes away. No, no, Connie. I will take you to my home, to the mountains where, where the snow never melts. Don't be sad. <laughs> What's the matter? Funny, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying. Don't be sad. It's so beautiful. A dark angel. And it's me. Me.